everybody and thank you so much for checking out this video and if you are new because I did make this the video for new visitors to my channel for some reason welcome to my YouTube channel today I'm going to be working on an updated version of my persona which is me as an anime character with some artistic liberties taken because I haven't updated her in a long time and I thought now would be good as time as ever because it would go really nicely with um, the real reason for doing this video so yeah I'm not gonna be talking about the drawing much mainly because as the time I'm recording this audio I haven't finished the drawing because you gotta record Record these audios in moments of silence and sometimes those moments come up even before you finish the drawing so yeah but before we do get into the main topic at hand I thought I should talk about the drawing a little bit so I decided to draw an updated version of my persona it's something I wanted to do for quite a while and as you can see the main reason I wanted to do it is because I wanted to change the wardrobe to reflect what I'm currently wearing no longer do I wear the purple turtlenecks who is the aqua the long sleeve over it but instead I am wearing a button-up collar shirt that can be worn open, in this case it is open, and it has a tank top underneath it. And the main reason is, is that's what I love wearing. I used to love wearing the turtlenecks with the V-neck shirts layered over it, and I still do, but it's uh, more weather specific because it's super hot, so you can only wear it unless it's super cold. So because of that, I have now changed my style, and I really do enjoy wearing flannel shirts. Well, they're not all flannel, but you know, the type of shirts was a collar that can be buttoned up or worn open with like t-shirts and tank tops underneath and I really do enjoy it and I uh, chose yellow for the like I said jacket shirt thing whatever you want to call it because I actually do have a flannel just like that and um, the same thing for everything else I'm wearing in this drawing except for the shirt I don't have a shirt like that I wish I had a shirt like that but I don't have a shirt also my hair is worn up and that was also never a real reason why I wanted to update my persona because I actually do wear my hair like this a lot in real life and I would do it every day but it's very hard on my hair sadly and no joke for real it looks like a perfect mix between Riza Hawkeye's hair from Full Metal Alchemist series and Kaguya from Kaguya Sama Love is War only unlike Kaguya I need a thick hair cloth to keep mine up it's not just a uh, little flimsy ribbon that could hold my hair up and honestly I know it's anime logic and if Kaguya was real her hair would be a lot less thick than mine but I still don't know how hair could possibly be held up in an upright vertical position by just a ribbon that really doesn't make sense to me also the hair that is left out of the like ponytail updo uh, which looks kind of like a bang. It looks just like Tsubame's bang from Kaguya Sama Love is War. It's like a perfect fusion. I swear I didn't plan on that. It just kind of happened, which is funny. So, yeah, like I said, I want to update my persona to illustrate the change that my channel is going through. And I thought by, you know, changing my appearance, that would really uh, exemplify that. Which brings me up to the real reason for doing this video, and that is because I have a very, 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 very important announcement. Although you probably already know what it is if you've seen the intro of this video, the title of this video, or been in my video library, you might have noticed something, or on my socials where I flat out said what it is, and that is I have changed my name. As of June 12th, 2022, I am no longer Saika Ichigo Commissioner Arclight, which is why I did not open this video was the usual. Hello everybody, I'm Saika Ichigo Commissioner Arclight. Thank you so much for watching this video, because I'm no longer Saika Ichigo Commissioner Arclight. Yeah, she's gone. Adios. Fin. Sayonara. I've been reborn. Now you can call me Marisu, and my channels are all called Marisu the Art Sheep. Well, I wanted Marisu the Artistic Sheep, but that was too long for some of them, so I went with Art Sheep. And I gotta say, uh, when I um, say artistic, people might think I'm saying something else, so it's, yeah, it's probably better that I did go with this. I actually wanted to change my name for quite a while. I think in 2019 is when I first entertained the idea. But I realized then it would be a lot of work, so I just didn't do it. I cowered out of it. But it was always in the back of my brain, and finally it burnt a hole in that area, and I want to patch it up. And the best way to patch it up is to give in. So I changed my name. And my main reason for wanting to change my name is I don't like it more at all, to be honest. Well, to be more specific, I don't like the shows that's referencing. Saika, which is from Madoka Magica, is a show that I liked. I watched a lot. But now I don't um, like it at all, really, outside of a few elements. Ichigo, which is from Tokyo Mimeo, I still do like it, I think. But I haven't seen it in years because it used to be on YouTube and then it got taken off. 
so it's not active in my brain. Plus, if the upcoming remake sucks, I don't want my name being associated with it. I'm not gonna say the remake is gonna suck, but, um, there's a chance that it could. And like I said, I don't want it to be associated with that if it does. And finally, the last two are from Yukio Sexel, which is a show I loved and watched all the time. Uh, the Japanese version, not the dub. I used to like all the Yu-Gi-Oh's actually, but as time passed, I hated Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters, the first one, which is funny. I used to say that I loved that one the most, but then I realized I was just saying that because I felt obligated since that was the first one, and I gave in and admitted that it was Sexel that I loved the most. GX was boring even when I was watching it as a little kid. To be honest, 5Ds was... I actually skipped quite a couple of episodes of 5Ds, and the sh Season 1's ending was really good, but Season 2 was bad in my opinion, and then I started hating it because everybody was saying how much more better it was than Zexel, and that made me mad at it. But I actually do like about 20 random episodes, but outside of that, it doesn't really do much for me. And Arc V would have been my second favorite, maybe even my first favorite, but it ended horribly, so I hate it. And Varane's, um, yeah, it sucked. I'm sorry if you liked it. I hate it. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say about that. And Zexel was the one I loved, and probably to a dangerous point to me living and breathing it, which is bad. I'm a Christian. We should only love and live and breathe Jesus Christ. But <laughs> I'm an adult now, and I still do enjoy the show, just not nearly as much. It was honestly an overnight switch where it just became to the point where it wasn't quite as fun. It's not like I'm a snob who doesn't like shows meant for children. There are a lot of shows that are for children that I still do enjoy, sort of. But it's just some of them. I've changed my mind on a lot of shows. In fact, some animes I used to love, or at the bare least enjoy, I hate so much now I won't even speak their names. So everyone's one of them. And yeah, the second reason for my name change is I've changed. Again, not so much in a lot of areas. I'm still the same person, same beliefs, same faith, but I do feel like I'm changing in ever ways, with changes in terms of shows and media, but also in my own personal stuff. Another big change is I used to be obsessed with writing this one series. I've never shown the actual writings to anyone, but I have shown elements off and characters, and that is a little pet project of mine called Monogatari no Hollows, and it was my main series, and the main character was Kyla Alicidian, and if you've been on my YouTube or on any of my ever social ma media platforms, I can't speak, uh, you will know very well who she is. I've drawn her so many times, and the very first time I started digital art, she was the very first thing I did. She was my go-to OC, and she still is my bae fictional though she may be, and I was actually trying to figure out a way to make her story into a reality, you know, make it a comic, webtoon, manga, whatever you want to call it. However, I took a small break from it this year and started focusing on something new, which I'll talk about in a second. It was just a week, and I've taken even longer breaks from it before and had no trouble going back to it. But this time when I opened it up, the folder with all the, you know, writings and pictures and stuff, I realized it sucked. The plot was way too long and complicated and was messy. There was way too many characters, 90% of them who weren't even designed. And the entire idea of it was way too ambitious for my first project, which I always knew it would be ambitious, but oh my goodness. It was just weird. It was like I dedicated a lot of time to this series. I've been working on it since 2011, and then I started taking it in a new direction in 2012, which was right around when I started watching Yu-Gi-Oh!, Zexel, and then Madoka Magica, and then um, Full Metal Alchemist, and those really did inspire it, which is really making the series sound kind of stupid and interesting at the same time. Uh, but yeah, so uh, it was just something that I really did dedicate a lot to, and since 2012 it's been pretty consistent with some minor changes here and there. I even had a playlist with 400 songs on it that made me think of it that I would listen to a whole lot. But, like I said, uh, I've even spent whole days just writing away at little ideas and scripts that I was working on, but 
This time it just wasn't holding my interest anymore. I hadn't even opened up the playlist in quite a couple of months. So I finally decided to shelve it and maybe rework it later on the line sometime. For now, I'm going to focus on a new sh series that I'm working on called Revolution in Full Color, which I just came up with this year. I am planning to release it as shorts first, Lord willing, and hopefully my second baby, Blue Song, which is uh, my series that has my characters Azura and Akira. It's their story, and uh, I still am proud of it, and I do want to work on that one, uh, but I want to do it when I have more experience, and I'm going to use Revolution in Full Color to uh, get that experience, so I will try to release that as a drawing, manga, comic, webtoon, whatever you want to call it, and then maybe I will go back to Monogatari, <laughs> Monogatari no Hollows. I can't speak even still. But until then, I've decided to embrace this new change, so I have shelved Monogatari no Hollows. I'm not really watching some shows that I used to watch in the past, and I have changed my name to express all this. So yeah, I've changed my name, and I picked the name Marisu because it's a cross between my real name and uh, the Japanese version of Alice, Alisu. So I thought it would make a really nice name and uh, the reason why I picked Alice is because um, as part of the reference is because of Alice in Wonderland. I would have picked uh, The Little Mermaid because that's my most favorite story but uh, the mermaid in that doesn't have a name and if you want to be you know I mean mare, mermaid it does sound kind of similar I mean they both mean ocean uh, so yeah and uh, the reason I picked sheep is because I love sheep. Sheep are my second favorite animal, farm animal to be precise. Pet animals, it's dogs, bunnies, and then cats. Forest animals, it's squirrels and gears. Ocean animals, it's dolphins and orcas. Wild animals, it's elephants and bears and birds, it's peacocks and cows. And farm animals, it's pigs and sheep. Now, the reason why I chose sheep out of that zoo list of animals is because my room was decorated in sheep when I was little. My mom picked it out, even though I liked pigs more at that time, and still do like pigs a little more than sheep. Sheep is also an inside joke between me and my friend Lydia, and since 2020, I've drawn a little picture on my notebook that I then digitized and used as my icon as me as a sheep. So I fought to just embrace the sheepiness. So here we are. I have my new name, and let me just say, for those who are thinking about changing their name, for me personally, it was a lot of work, so I would not recommend it. It might not be a lot of work for you, but it was a lot for me. I first thought I just had to change some tags and titles of my videos and my Instagram and DeviantArt posts, but then I realized I had to change my links and my descriptions because my Twitter and Instagram links changed with my name. Also, my thumbnails had to be changed as well because I realized it had the initials of my old name, S-I-K-A, and also, also, I had to update all of my pictures with my new watermark. So that took like four days of doing that non-stop, at least non-stop when I was on the computer. I did take some breaks to do everything. So yeah, that wasn't fun. But in the end, I did it, sort of. Now, as of the time I'm recording this video, I still haven't did Instagram because I'm lazy and tired. Uh, luckily that won't take as long because there isn't many Instagram posts for that. I also uh, realized that I had to go back and add my old tags to some of my drawings because my brother said that it's not good to erase it all entirely. And I did think of that, that this would not be a good idea to erase it entirely, but I ignored my intuition and now I have to pay the piper and put some of those old tags back. But for the most part, I am done with the big stuff. I even had to buy a one month core because I realized on DeviantArt you need a core, which is a paid subscription, to change your name, which is odd because on uh, Pixies, which I consider the Japanese equivalent to DeviantArt, you don't need a paid subscription to change your name, but you do need one to change the files in your post. So yeah, odd. But uh, because of that, my name, Saika Ichiko Kamishiro Arclight, has not been completely erased from the internet, which is kind of good because it's shunned. But, um, like I said, most of my posts have all been changed. And as of right now, again, as of the time I'm recording this 
video, audio, uh, YouTube's name has been changed, but it's not showing up. I don't know why. It says it's supposed to take a couple of days, but it's been more than a couple. <laughs> so I guess it will take a little while longer. I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, one more thing I would like to share before I close off this video, and that is I have upgraded. I am no longer using Clip Studio Paint Pro. I am using Clip Studio Paint EX, which is something I always said I wouldn't do, but it's actually been on my brain once again, and as you know, when things stay on my brain, they burn little holes into it, and I decided to give in. I had some extra money and was on sale. Now is the time when I get this video out. It will no longer be on sale, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I decided to buy it, and uh, I'm actually start using it for this video, although you won't be able to tell because I didn't use any of the exclusive features. But in the end, I am really glad that I did it, and I'm really looking forward to making new types of art with it, and hopefully some stories in the future. Like I said, I really do want to try to make shorts of Revolution in full color, and maybe even boost that up to an actual series, and then boost song. But for now, I will end that video with that. Uh, if you liked it, you can express it down below by giving a like and a comment. If you did not like it, I thank you for watching this far anyway. It means a lot. I am so happy with all the progress, which is one thing that I really noticed when I was going back and editing everything. I've been doing this for almost seven years now, this August, and it's been really exciting for me. I'm probably not as far as some people are or as far as some people think I should be, but I am much farther than I thought I would be, and that makes me really grateful, and I'm so blessed by God. I can't even believe I'm still doing this, and I thank you all. I hope you have a nice day. Oh, also, if you want to support me or just really want me to draw you something, you can ask me for commissions. They're completely open. More info about that down below, along with all of my new social links. So, yeah, this is Marisu the Art Sheep signing off. Bye!